Um, kia ora, my name is H and I'm a human rights defender from Aotearoa, New Zealand, working in LGBTI human rights and issues. Some of the challenges facing young LGBTI people in Aotearoa are um, appropriate whānau support when they're coming out. So if a family have never heard of what it means to be LGBTI and then all of a sudden one of their young people has come out, um, we often are supporting young people who are dealing with family distress. Um, bullying within schools is still prevalent. Um, New Zealand has quite a high sporting culture and we know that statistically sports aren't always a safe and inclusive space for LGBTI young people. Um, so creating school systems that are really inclusive of LGBTI people um, is something that I'm really passionate about, whether that be um, boards of trustees implementing diversity policies or whether it be um, staff remembering to include us in history lessons and English and social studies and all of the kind of stuff that we do at school and supporting a culture within a school that celebrates diversity. One of the key policy objectives that us as a collective are working on in New Zealand is the implementation of gender as a grounds of non-discrimination in our Human Rights Act. Currently, sexual orientation, race, religion, ethnicity and sex are covered, but gender identity, gender expression and diverse sex characteristics aren't explicitly named in our Human Rights Act. So it's really important that gender is included as a grounds of non-discrimination in our Human Rights Act because everyone deserves to feel safe at work and their healthcare systems at school. They should be able to access those services without fear of discrimination based on who they are and how they feel that they identify and want to be in the world. As well as the learning component of this training, which I've totally benefited from and I've learned how all these different bits fit together, I think one of the most valuable parts about this experience has been meeting other defend human rights defenders from all around the world working on a variety of issues, but also meeting, based in Geneva, global NGOs working on these issues and making personal relationships with special rapporteurs in the areas that we're working on. And yes, yeah, starting to build that global network um, to support our work back home, but also in the way that we might be able to support 